climatology and oceanography. The course is designed to provide you with an insight into how the atmosphere and oceans work and interact. This approach gives you a detailed understanding of the earth's climatic system along with the impact of human society on the atmospheric and oceanic systems. This particular course is designed to provide a better understanding of climatology and oceanography which include a range of disciplines from meteorology to physical oceanography. Meteorology is the study of weather, climatology is the study of local and global weather conditions for the last 30 years and oceanography is the study of everything that relates to the oceans and the seas. Since ancient times, these disciplines have been fundamental for the development of human civilization and in every walk of life, industry, trade, agriculture, energy production, transport, economy, health, environment protection, sport, tourism, construction, navigation, even fishing and hunting are all areas that have been and continue to be greatly influenced by these sciences. Climatology is one of the branches of earth and atmospheric sciences. Climatology is the science of studying the average atmospheric conditions of a region in long term perspective. It includes a systematic study of atmospheric conditions pertaining to weather and climate. Climatology aims to study the nature of climate, the causes and interpretations of its spatial variations and its association with biosphere. It is closely related to meteorology and geography due to the fact that all global atmospheric processes are spatially distributed. Weather is the condition of the atmosphere at any particular time and place. The element of air temperature, air pressure, humidity, clouds, precipitation, visibility and wind that determine the present state of atmosphere are called as weather elements. Objectives and learning outcomes. The objective of this course is to introduce the students to the process that maintain earth's climate based on physical principles. Topics include the weather and climate, global energy balance, horizontal and vertical distribution of temperature and pressure, cyclones and anticyclones, hydrologic cycle origin and types of clouds, general circulation of the atmosphere and the oceans. Upon completion of this course, students should be able to explain the fundamental scientific concepts underlying our understanding of our climate system. More specifically, students will understand the basic energy and weather balances in the climate system and be able to explain their role in climatic change and the impact of climate on living organisms and the human environment. This course focuses on the physical process that govern the earth's climate. We will begin with an introduction of global energy balance and the elements of weather which are responsible for the modification of climate. In oceanography, it begins with the origin of ocean basins, morphology and relief of ocean basins, gained submarine canyons deep ocean trenches, distribution of salinity and the general circulation of ocean water and ocean currents. Learning objectives. By the end of the module, the student should be able to differentiate between weather and climate. The student should be able to understand the horizontal and vertical distribution of temperature. That student should be able to describe the relationship between air pressure and wind direction in in cyclonic and anticyclonic movement. The student should be able to describe tropical air masses and how they move and to describe what happens when different air masses meet. The student should be able to explain how storms form, the relationship between jet streams position and storm movement and make a distinction between warm fronts 
and cold friends. The student should also be able to explain how tropical cyclones form, their characteristics and where they are commonly found. The student should also be able to describe the effects of hurricanes and the factors and process that cause destruction from these storms. The student should also be able to describe where extratropical cyclones are formed and the hazards associated with them. The student should be able to understand the origin of ocean basins and their morphology. The students should be able to understand the continental margins encompassing continental shelf and continental slope, deep ocean basins including plains, trenches and ridges. And describe the process that alter sea surface salinity, temperature and density in the oceans.